As we move about our lives in the physical world, we are totally and utterly surrounded by waves. We interact with them all day, every day. In this video, I want to expand your horizons a bit to consider the question, what happens when the multitude of waves that we are surrounded by meet? When waves meet, physicists use the word superposition, and it's relatively easy to understand. Perhaps you've come across the simple example of a long piece of string and a person flicking either end of the string, creating two pulses which travel through each other. For some time, I've been trying to get my head around how to use After Effects to create animations of sine waves of different frequencies and adding them together in real time. And at last, I've cracked it. So I present in glorious Technicolor and for your physics enjoyment, a few very brief animations of what happens when waves of different frequencies are added together. It is my hope that you will be inspired by these because the waves that are created can actually be really beautiful. But then again, I am a physics nerd and you'd expect me to say that. So let's jump in. This example shows two waves of exactly the same frequency adding together to give a third wave of the same frequency with twice the amplitude. No surprises there then. The purple wave has a frequency 10 times the white one. Adding the two together, you can clearly see the contribution of each wave in the resultant. The purple wave now has a frequency of two times the white one. The resultant green wave is clearly periodic. Perhaps you can identify the components that have gone together to create it. This wave will sound pulsating because it has two distinct maximum displacements regularly repeating within it. The purple and white waves now have a difference in their frequency of about 15%. You can see them coming in and out of phase as they move across the screen. In the resultant green, it's possible to identify those points that on the purple and white are completely in phase together and perhaps even out of phase, although this isn't always as easy as you might imagine. Again, this wave will have a pulsating sound to it. The purple wave now has a frequency which is roughly 10% higher than the white wave. This means that it takes much longer for the two waves to go out of phase and consequently our green resultant, although its amplitude does die down, it takes much longer to do it. Well, did I meet my goal? Were you inspired? Imagine just how complicated it is when you're, say, teaching a year eight class and they're doing practical and they're all talking at the same time. Imagine the complexity of those waves arriving at your ear and yet your ear from that detail can pull out all the information that you need in order to have a conversation with one of those kids. Utterly amazing.